G'day providers, my name's Tim and welcome back to my own the improvised line and innovative method for helping you to create your own ideas for musical improvisation and composition. Today is the third in our mini series on Musolingo, the language we use as musicians. So what are modes and how does a different mode change our chord progressions? Let's find out. Whether you realise it or not, all the music you play is probably written in the Ionian mode. That's the mode where we find the major scale. The major scale is made up of a tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. If we base it on the key of C as seen here in the cycle of keys, we'll use all the white notes on the keyboard and we'll play the seven different modes and have a look at the most common chord progression as found on the cycle of keys one, four, two, five and we'll hear how those triads and tetrachords really change when playing in a different mode so the modes are the scales found within the scale so we've got the major scale as we just played and then starting on two it'll be the Dorian mode and then the Phrygian mode for the third. So you can hear how the semitones and tones are going to change, so therefore the chords and the tetra chords are going to change as well. So let's have a look at the triads for the major scale. One, four, two, five will be C triad, F, D minor, and G. Use lots of inversions and mix it up a bit. The tetra chords, the four notes chords, will be a C major seventh, an F major seven, a D minor seventh, and a G seven. In the Dorian we're going to say the second note of the scale, in this case D, is going to be known as 1. So it'll go a tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, tone. So you can hear it shifting. The triads will be D minor, G, E minor, and A minor. The tetrachords will be D minor 7th, G7, E minor 7th, and A minor 7th. The Phrygian is where we call the third note of the major scale and we name it as one. In this case it will be E. So in the 1, 4, 2, 5 chord progression the first chord will be an E minor for the triads, then an A minor, an F and a B diminished. The tetrachords or four note chords will be an E minor 7th, an A minor 7th, the F major 7th and the B minor 7th flat applied or a half diminished 7th. The Lydian is number 4 where we call 4 1. So in this case it'll start on F. And you can hear it change really differently. Tone, 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 semitone, tone, tone, semitone. So the triads will be F, B diminished, G, and C. The tetrachords will be an F major seventh. B minor 7 flat 5, 
G7 and a C major 7th. Quick shout out to our 14 new subscribers so far for the month of July in 2020. Thanks very much. Keep on learning and you can do that by watching all of our videos and investigating any of our ebooks on the principles of improvisation available exclusively from our website at myaim.com.au. Remember to like the video, comment and share it with your friends. Terrific. The Mixolydian is five. It'll start on G in this case. It'll be a tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone. So the triads will be G, C, A minor, and D minor. The four note chords will be a G seventh, a C major seventh, an A minor seventh, and a D minor seventh. The Aeolian is the sixth. Easy to remember if you're in the key of C. A is the sixth note. A for Aeolian. It's the relative minor, so it'll have a really sad sound. It goes tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. So you can already hear that sad sound. So all the chords have a minor quality. So the triad the A minor, D minor, B diminished, and E minor. The four note tetrachords will be an A minor seventh, a D minor seventh, a B minor 7 flat 5 and an E minor 7th. The 7th is the Locrium. It's known as an angelic sound. It always leaves the people begging, wanting more. It's not resolved. It'll start in this case on B. So the triads will be B diminished, E minor, C, and F. The tetrachords will be a B minor 7 flat 5, an E minor 7, C major 7th and an F major 7th. So all of that is transferable into any key on the cycle of keys. So you're just playing in the same key signature but you're calling a different note 1 when you're looking at it as a chord progression. That's how you play in a different mode and that should excite some of you when creating new sounds when making new improvisations and compositions. Look forward to hearing your results. You're still here, so now it's time for a quick word from our Aussie English. And today's word is togs, or budgie smugglers. You might know them as speedos, swimwear. It's clothing that you wear when you go swimming. Togs, or budgie smugglers. It's your swimwear. My name's Tim, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give us a big thumbs up. If you learnt something new, tell us about it in the comments below and remember to subscribe. To learn more about music improvisation and composition, click on either of the screens you see here. Remember to share this with your friends and I'll see you in the next video.